Wow. Okay. This one's going home with me. <laughs> <laughs> another happy customer. another happy customer. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater, Ken Haas, CEO of Reverend Guitars. Man, that, yeah, very cool, very cool. This is the Reverend Descent Baritone. Uh, specifically, it is the Descent W. Mitch, what does the W stand for? I would bet it has something to do with the bridge. It does. The w stands for the Wilkinson Trem, and the great story behind the Descent Baritone. Reverend founder and designer Joe Naylor plays in a two-man band without a bass player, and he's been down tuning guitars for years, writing this single guitar music tour de force of his. And he really wanted a baritone guitar that just played like a standard guitar. Right. He didn't feel like reaching out to play the low strings. And so he started experimenting for his own needs in his own band with different string gauges and custom scale lengths. And one thing led to another, and it ended up with this mighty instrument here, the Descent. So this is a custom scale length baritone guitar. It's 26 and three quarter. <laughs> so it comes in in between your sort of 25 and a half and then your traditional 28 that you normally see on a baritone guitar. Right. And then if you'll notice the pickup placement is a little bit different too, and the bridge placement on the body, so that when you sit down and hold the guitar, you don't feel like you're reaching out to here by moving the bridge back a little bit and the, the pickup placement in a little bit, you can sit and sit naturally and play a guitar that is tuned to B standard, uh, as Mitch is doing right now. Very cool. And then we also use a custom string gauge on this that we have made for us by a company in Ohio called SIT. And it's 14 through 68 with a plain 26 in the third position, which is tuned to D on this guitar, which would be the G string on your standard instrument. And again, that was done so that when you're, when you're playing runs that you would normally play on a standard instrument, you don't hit that wound third and be like, oh, that's right. That's weird. Too weird, right? I mean, this is designed for guitar players to sit down and play a baritone. And so you can do the bends that you would normally do on your third string with this without having that oddity. It is, of course, a Carina body and a roasted maple neck, uh, master volume, master tone, bass contour control, and these are Railhammer Nuevo 90 pickups. What is special about these, you'll notice there are blades under the wound strings and then oversized pull pieces under the plain strings, and the blades under the wound strings give it a natural compression by taking a smaller slice of the magnetic field that's being created by the string, and so you don't fart out even in the neck position. It holds everything tight. And you'll notice that a lot of jazz artists or traditional, because that's there's blades underneath of all those covers on those fancy jazz pickups. Sure. In order to hold that that bottom end tight for neck position playing. And then of course metal guys like having the, the blade style pickups for the same reason. You get the compression and high gain, so you get excellent string to string clarity of the notes. But then by compensating with the oversized pull pieces, it still allows a nice, sweet, jangly, warm top end. So what we've done with these new Wavo 90 pickups there are two full coils underneath of this cover. Hmm. Just there's no poles in one of the coils and there's no blade in the other one. And they are wound to sound like P90 style pickups, hence we call them Nuevo 90. It's just a little bit more aggressive and completely noiseless. Yeah, that's really sweet. So neck pick up. You get it over here where it's supposed to be. <laughs> Baritone, right? Yeah, oh yeah. And then we have the bass contour control, right? Indeed. Tell us about that. Well, you're just rolling out low frequencies in a similar way that the tone control rolls out the highs. So it changes the voicing of, Naylor never likes it when I say rolling out low frequencies. Right. Joe, Joe would prefer it if I said it changes the voicing of the pickup because really that's what it's doing. It, it's changing the, the center position of your EQ and the pickup mm -hmm. um, when you roll out those low frequencies. So with a guitar like this where there are so many low frequencies, mm -hmm. it makes it very, very versatile. And then you can play that that like roll off the bass contour all the way and go to the bridge pickup. Bridge pickup. And, and do that sort of spaghetti western kind of ba -dum, ba -dum. There it is. And 
then, and then of course, the fuller tones are at your fingertips. Yeah, certainly on the neck as well. The technical ther- term for that is kathunkadunk. I don't ah. know. Yeah. Of course, you have all the shades in between as well. Yes. Which is really. Yeah, because it's it's designed to be quartered upon as well. I mean, the, it's the baritone for guitar players. Because right. the fun thing to do is to sit it up and, and not not think about it as a baritone. Just play what you normally play. Just play it in B. Right. And see how things sound, of course. And then so you can use it as a as another tool in your sonic arsenal. Right. As as you will, you know, without having to completely adjust the way that you play. Yeah. It's just right all there at your fingertips. The problem is it's addictive because it, it, is. it sounds huge. It just rings. It's man, it's fantastic. Here, yeah. show us what it can do. Indeed. Well, I like to do that. I love that kind of stuff. That is so cool. Everybody's got to have one. I agree. You know, it's just the kind of thing that you should just have in your uh, collection to be able to add that bottom end. Indeed. Add that, what did you call it? The The kathunkadunk. Kathunkadunk. You never know when you're going to need a little kathunkadunk in your life. (laughs) And this is the guitar to do it for you. It is. Right on. Indeed, the Reverend Descent Baritone. Right on. Ken Haas, CEO of Mitch Gallagher. Thanks for joining us. Mm